Hi everyone, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlmyTutors.com and in this video we're going to look at calculating the concentration of a weak acid and Ka from a Ka expression. Now um, this video assumes that you've watched the other one showing what the Ka expression is. Um, if you haven't seen it or you don't know um, what the Ka expression is then just click on the link just below uh, and you'll be able to see that video. So from that video, if you have seen it or if you know this already, we can say that the K expression is equal to H plus squared um, divided by HA. Again, this is the um, an assumption that has been made that the concentration of H plus and A minus, which is the other part of this equation, is the same. So we can say that H plus um, is squared. And we can use this expression here to actually work out the concentration of a weak acid and we can obviously work out K itself from this expression. Um, we're going to use another equation as well, which is this pH equation, which comes up so many times uh, in these videos, and it's such a crucial part. And pH equals the minus log of H+, plus, where the H plus is the concentration of H plus ions. So we're going to look at this um, expression here first, uh, this equation, sorry, first. So the pH uh, question, sorry, and uh, the pH of ethanoic acid was uh, 3.12 at 298 Kelvin. Calculate the concentration of ethanoic acid. Uh, and we've got the Ka expression here. Now, the first thing we need to do is work out what is it we're trying to uh, calculate. Now, we're trying to calculate the concentration of ethanoic acid. Now, the expression that we need to look at is this one over here, because our concentration of our ethanoic acid would fit in here. Now, in order to work that out, we need a Ka value and we need a H plus value as well. Now the Ka value we know, but the H plus value we don't, and we have to work that out uh, by other means. And the other means is this equation here. And this equation has the H plus bit that we, that we need, but we've also been told the pH as well. So this is the equation we're going to use first. So we're going to write this out first. So pH um, will effectively equal uh, the minus log of H plus, as we've put there. Um, but we need to rearrange this to get H plus, so we're going to write that there. So H plus um, will equal, and this is the anti-log, um, which you press shift log and you should get a little 10 in the calculator. And it's the minus, so it's the anti-log of the minus pH, and so the pH is 3.12. Uh, and if we put that in our calculator, um, we should get a concentration of H plus to be 7.59 times by 10 to the minus 4. There we go. Uh, and obviously that's in moles per decimeters cube. So that's our concentration of H plus. And now we've got that, we can take our Ka expression, because we know Ka, and we know the H plus, because we've just worked this out, and we can work out the concentration of HA. Now, if we rearrange this expression, we can find the concentration of HA. Uh, in this case, this is our concentration of ethanoic acid. So the concentration of ethanoic acid, which is CH3OOH, will equal um, the concentration of H plus squared, so I'll put that there, over Ka. And if we put that, if we put our values in there, so our concentration of H plus is 7.59 times by 10 to the minus 4, uh, and all of that is going to be squared, and we're going to divide that by our value of Ka, which is 1.62, times by 10 to the minus 5. And if we put that in our calculator, we should work out our concentration of ethanoic acid. And we should get a value of 3.56 times by 10 to the minus 2. And that's in moles per decimeter cubed. And so that's how you'd work out the concentration of a weak acid. Now, concentration of a weak acid, you have to use Ka. Um, if it was a strong acid, you wouldn't need to use Ka, and you can just use your pH expression. But weak acids, you have to use the Ka expression to do this. Um, a bit more simpler, simpler version um, is this one here, and this is where you have to work out the value of Ka. Um, we have um, 0 0.203 moles per dm cubed, of HBr, so this is um, hydrobromic acid, um, has a pH of 5.23 at 298 Kelvin. So I'm just going to put aqueous on there, it's an acid. 
Uh, what is the value of Ka? Now, the value of Ka, again, we need to work out H plus and HA. We know the concentration of our weak acid because it's 0 0.203 moles per dm cubed. Um, and um, we don't know the value of H plus. So again, we have to use our pH expression to work out the value of H plus. So rearranging this, we can work out the, con the concentration of H plus um, to be the anti-log, which is the 10, so it's 10 it means, to the minus pH. Now the pH is 5.23. So I'm going to put that on there. Uh, and that should give us a concentration, a concentration of H plus um, of 5.89 times by 10 to the minus 6. And that's obviously moles per decimeters cubed. We'll put that on there. So now we know the concentration of H plus. Um, we can then put it into our expression. And because we're working out K, we don't need to rearrange it. So that makes it that little bit easier. So our Ka value is basically H plus squared, which is 5.89 times by 10 to the minus 6. And all of that is going to be squared. And we're going to divide that by our concentration of our acid. Um, we have been told it's 0.203, which goes in there. Uh, if we put that in the calculator, um, we should get a value of Ka to be 1.71 times by 10 to the minus 10. Uh, and that, the units would moles per decimeters cubed for this one as well. And there's two examples, quite straightforward examples of how you can use the Ka expression to calculate the concentration of a weak acid or to work out Ka itself. Um, there is um, another step that you can go really when you can work out something called pKa. Um, there is a video on pKa and if you want to watch that then just click on the link just below um, and you'll be able to see that video. Um, but you can see the values of Ka are quite large and pKa makes that um, a little bit more uh, simplified and it gives a number that's a bit more um, easier or is easier to actually work with. But um, that's it really. Um, more Ka expressions, plenty of them. Keep practicing. Bye.